Hey everybody, welcome back. I mentioned that I was going to do a comparison video um, with the 57 flip nose here that Frizzo bought for me, Frank, for picking him up from the airport. He says, I'll buy you a kit. So that's the, I told him that's the one I wanted if he wanted to buy me a kit. So anyway, I said I had a purpose in that, getting that kit. Um, so recently, okay, disclaimer, really quick before anything, this is a comparison video. This is something that really interests me and it interests other people. So with the com, I made a video with this 53 flip nose comparing it to the AMT, which is the same kit. And I had a commenter say, Hey, look, everybody already knows this. We don't need these kind of videos. Well, that's not true because I didn't know it. That's why I made the video. And just like this video that I'm about to make here, there are people that haven't been in this hobby for like 50 years. You know, they could be coming into it after a long spell of being out of it and you've missed a lot. Like, so I missed all this. All these, I, I quit building model kits in like 19... I forget the, I don't know, I was like 18 years old, and, and I'm 45 now, so it's been it's been a quite a dry spell, so there's a lot of stuff that I didn't know. Anyway, just a disclaimer, I know that some people already know what I'm about to say. That's okay, because I'm going to do this anyway, because there's guys out there that really enjoy this as well as myself. I enjoy this, and I'm going to do it anyway. So here we go. All right, so, got that out of the way. Thank you. 53 Ford flip nose and the 57 Chevy. So when I did my video on the 53 Ford flip nose, Lucas C said, Hey Matt, did you also know that that 53 Ford shares some parts with the 57 Chevy flip nose? I'm like, no, I had no idea. So what I'm going to do is I've got both these kits opened up. These are just the box tops. I'm going to go over on my other bench that's behind me. And I'm just going to show you that this 57 flip nose shares a lot of parts with this 53 Ford. And uh, that kind of stuff interests me a lot. I can't get enough. I, I, I like to hear about the history of these kits. I like to hear of, of the similarities within kits. I mean, you've got a 57 Chevy car. has nothing to do with the 53 Ford. Nothing to do with it. But yet... How MPC or AMT, whichever one, it was actually MPC. How MPC was able to use the same parts from these and, and create then a new kit, which um, I don't know which one came first. Was it the 57 Chevy or the 53 Ford? I haven't looked on Scalemates to see which one was actually produced first. But I think this is cool. So let me turn the camera around and we'll go over to my other bench. And uh, it's actually the bench. If you watched my last video, it's where I cleaned my uh, model room where that CNC was at and that's where it's going to be so hold on just a second let me switch her around all right now that I've got a space here on this bench that I can actually utilize rather than just stack stuff on top of the CNC so the 57 this is a new kit it's a re reissue from round two so the the plastic is white if you'll notice most of all the new models that are produced today are, are white plastic that's because it's hard to paint a uh i think like this truck here this 5340 it was like teal green or blue or something like that that you don't see that very often but still even with this uh the parts from the ford are the darker brown ones all right so starting right here just to show these parts i've opened both of these kits Yes, I went against all my good judgment and opened up this brand new kit, but it's new, so you can get another one. Um, so first off here is the seats and the differential. 57, 53. Same exact differential, same exact seats. Yeah, they're exactly the same. The, the, the design and the seats are exactly the same. The differentials, the drive shaft, the length of the drive shaft... <laughs> I think is even the same some parts have been altered but but the ones that I'm showing you are the ones that are exactly the same here's the engine supercharger or at least the engine the heads the headers if you'll look that's exactly the same 
53 Ford, 57 Chevy. No biggie because it's just an engine. Um, but it does share the differential, the leaf springs, the seats, the drive shaft, the engine, the headers, the heads, the intake, the blower belt, the transmission, the starter, all those things are the same. Then we get over here to the, okay, this one is a little different. So this one has the same wheel backings. These two wheel back, or these two right here are broken off of this tree, but I do have them. But it's got the same wheel backings. It's got a little difference in the, if you'll notice that axle, it's a straight axle. And the 53 Ford axle, it does come up. So there is a difference, although they're hanging exactly on the tree. Um, exactly the same place on the tree. The difference is when you get to right here and come down to the exhaust, you'll notice that it's different. The, the radiator is even the exact same radiator. It's broken loose. I've got it laying there. But the red, the, what you can see also where, see how they changed the sprue? You, you can see that right there on the sprue is where they make the change. So they molded the exhaust on this one. And on this one, it's also exhaust, but it's the lake pipes that come down the side of the 53 Chev or 53 Ford. So they're basically the same. You can lay them right on top of each other, exactly the same, except for the shape of the front axle. Everything's there until you get to this portion of the sprue, then it changes. And then the, I think the most unique thing about it is they even share the same exact chassis. So there's nothing, no difference in the chassis other than the color here. Exactly the same length, exactly the same width, it's exactly the same. So you've got a 57 Chevy flip nose that shares the frame with the 53 Ford flip nose. And they, they share so many parts. I just, I think this is cool. How many times have we built a kit that we didn't realize that we could have put a different body on top of it or something to that that nature. The one reason I did notice that the 53 has this dropped axle and the 57 does it. Does it. The 57 is like a gasser, so it's got the front end up. And the 53 has a lowered stance, so that's where you get that uh, lowered front end there. But How many times have we built a kit that we didn't realize we were actually building the same kit as another one, sharing so many of the same parts? And I had no idea because I'd not ever owned the 57 until Lucas C said, hey, you might want to check that out. That'd be a cool video. And lastly is the chrome trees. Now the chrome trees have less in common than the other parts that I showed you. All right, let me see how. Okay, so with the chrome trees, you've got, they're, they're ordered in a different way. They have... But what you can do is say, here's your oil pan. Here's the oil pan. So this is the 53. This is the 57. If you take and set it over like that, except for the scoops, the hood scoop is different. Everything else lines up. You've got all the traction bars, the blower, the wheels. The wheels are different styles. And the, um, the intake or the uh, scoop is a different style. But that portion of the tree is identical, except for those few changed parts. And then, obviously, they migrated or changed. And if you'll, you can actually see where they cut and added on their uh, on the master or whatever you want to call it. Their um, what is it? The the mold. They they changed that, and you can see right right in this area where they changed it. But so many parts, now the grill, the grill and all that, obviously it's different. But they share so many parts and I'm like, well, that is, that's really cool. And out of, you know, however many I've got, I'm, I'm thinking how many other cars are, that are up here share the same like chassis and things like that? I, I don't know. Um, makes me want to tear into more kits and I know that probably makes some of you guys happy to bust into some of them but it does make me want to do some more research and to find out about the similarities in kits but I don't know if I'm going to I did 
look let's see there was something else that I I can't remember oh yeah it was the uh, Corvette here so I was thinking that the 57 flip nose Corvette actually hold on guys let me grab this and I'm I don't want to get off topic it was not on the Corvette but I did look yesterday so this this car here this could be a different video but oh well so that 57 Corvette gasser is actually the same kit as this 57 flip nose vet um I didn't realize I did not realize that this was a flip nose until Lucas C pointed out he says no it's got those fasteners right there you see it now this kit looks like they've done some real photo touch up because you can't tell that the front flips up you do see a seam but you don't really see it it's not like that so I thought because it's a flip nose and it's a vet and it's a 57 and I'm thinking well it maybe it shares the maybe it shares the engine and the headers and if you'll notice that it does have a similarity in how the headers drop out but I opened up this AMT which it was already opened sorry it was, already had the plastic off but I did open the bags inside and, and checked it out and uh, it doesn't share anything so it, it's not even a, rel a distant cousin to the 57 Chevy flip nose or the uh, 53 Ford. It doesn't really share anything. It's totally different. The frame is different. The engine is different. It's a small block. And if you'll notice the headers are the, the shape of a small block. And I guess this is big. This is a big block Chevy, but it doesn't share really anything. I couldn't find any parts that were the same. The differential was different. The chassis is different. Everything about it's different. So thought maybe I'd found something else, but I failed. But anyway, this is this is all I wanted to do is just take a few minutes and uh, talk about this these two kits and how uh, one's a car and one's a truck. But when you take all their <laughs> we take their body off, you can't tell the difference. But anyway, um, yeah, this is a fun video. Thanks guys for watching and thanks for putting up with my my rambling. Uh, if you already knew this. Um, leave me a comment if you didn't know this about these two kits hey leave me a comment about that too because I'm curious to know am I wasting my time is this something that everyone in the modeling community knows about which I, I know the answer to that that's no because I didn't but again I'm sorry if this annoys you you don't have to watch this video um, but I, I just found it very very interesting all right, well, I'm done, and I'm going to get started on a kit that's over on my bench, and it's going to be a lot of fun. I also have the, let me give you a quick little view, the 40 Ford for the Unified uh, Content Creators build. I'm working on that slowly, but surely. Got to be done by January 15th. Anyway, that's all I got, guys. Keep watching. Thanks for watching. If you had not subscribed already, go subscribe. Also, if you have not been to our Facebook group and joined, go over and do that. Link in the description to both of those. Also, go check out Hobby Nut Models. Uh, Mark over at Hobby Nut is who I got this 53 Ford from. I got a I got a bootlegger, not that one, but that one. I got, uh, what else did I get? I think I got this from Mark. I got this, uh, actually got the truck here, the what, 50, 1950 Ford or 53 Ford or something, 56 Ford, 55. I don't know what it is. Go over and check out Mark's inventory at HobbyNutModels.com. He's got all kind of neat kits, and Steady gets the older stuff so we can go back and get those kits that we want so bad. I'm done, and uh, you guys take care, and we will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. You guys take care. Bye.